structs. Declaring structs are a way that we can create our own data type for our program, as well as how we can group multiple variables together under one name. A struct takes this form, struct, name, open curly brace, a sequence of declared variables, close curly brace, semicolon. Our struct name will be the data type name, and we add member variables within our struct. Note that the closing curly brace at the end of the struct declaration must have a semicolon. While we can declare a struct above main, it's better designed to create a file just for that struct. The file should share the struct's name and end with .h. This is a C++ header file. Within our other files that use this struct, we add an include to our file. Hashtag include double quote menu item dot h double quote. Now our CBP file here can see the struct we declared in another file. Header files need to also have file guards, such as hashtag if in def label, hashtag define label, and hashtag end if at the very end, and we add code in between. These prevent the .h file from being included multiple times. Note that each h file needs its own unique label. You can name the label whatever, you just don't want naming overlap. Let's say we created a struct to store a restaurant's menu items. Declaring it in its header file would look like this. Within our program, we could then declare variables of this type and initialize their member variables like this. There's more we can do with structs, but since this is C++ and not C, I tend to save any more sophisticated structures for classes instead.